Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little run through on MAC Cosmetics face powders. This was actually recommended to me um, to do this video and I thought it was a great idea because I know when you go to the MAC counter you're sitting there looking at all the powders and it can be pretty overwhelming which one does what. So um, I was going through my vanity and I have most of them. There are a few I was looking online that I don't have and I haven't tried so I will tell you about those um, and I'll be very honest I haven't tried them so I can't give you any feedback on them. But um, for the most part, I have their you know standard traditional powders that have just been around forever. Um, so we're going to get started with those. First, I'm going to start with the very first foundation I have e I ever wore. I think I was 14 when I bought this. It's the Mac Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Um, this is probably something you have all heard of. This is a very, very, very popular foundation. This replaces any liquid foundation that you're using, any cream foundation. This is your foundation. This is not a setting powder. This is a foundation. So it comes um, in a compact just like this. Um, and then when you lift up top, it has a little place for your sponge down below. You can apply it a couple different ways. You can apply it with a sponge, which is going to offer pretty, you know, pretty medium to full coverage. Um, you can apply it with a brush, with a big fluffy brush for lighter coverage. You can apply it with a dense kabuki brush for heavier coverage. Um, there's a lot of versatility with this foundation. Um, I know people that will actually use this on top of their liquid foundation for extra full coverage. I am not saying there's anything wrong with that because hey, whatever you want to do is cool. I've done, I'm sure I've done that before too, but I equate that to putting a liquid foundation on and then putting another liquid foundation on top of it. You're going to have a pretty makeup, you know, made up look. So just be in mind of that. I knew people that would come into the matte counter that were actually using this on top of a liquid without knowing, you know, without realizing that they were doing that or realizing that this is actually foundation and they were complaining that their foundation was too heavy. And so once I explained, you know, what they were doing and how that was probably the reason why their makeup was looking too heavy it was like an aha moment so um, this is a great foundation for everyday wear because it's super easy you um, you know it takes two seconds you don't have to you know spend a lot of time um, it's not a foundation or a powder that you necessarily have to keep in your purse for touching up because it's a foundation leave it at home have a separate powder in your purse to touch up with so um, that's the first powder that we'll talk about the next powder that we're going to talk about is actually an option to touch up with so this is something you can use later in the day on top of the studio fix or this is something that you can use on top of a liquid foundation or any other foundation that you're wearing and it's probably um, one of my favorite setting powders it's max block powder um, and they have it in two formulas they have it in pressed and then they have it in a loose which I have somewhere around here so this powder is almost translucent it has a little bit of color but very very minimal it only comes in a few shades because there's a lot of leeway between the shades um, and actually I act would actually use this shade medium dark on every single skin tone even fair 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 skins and even darker skins I would use this because once you put it on the skin and kind of work it in with a brush it just disappears really this powder is strictly a setting powder so this is just going to absorb any oil any excess shine um, and just set your makeup without adding a lot a, a heavier makeup finish so I would tell people you can literally touch up with this powder you know a dozen times a day not that you are going to do that but if you were it wouldn't look like you have a ton of makeup on by the end of the day so I really really love this as a setting powder um, and that is the MAC Blot Pressed Powder. The next powder is another um, great setting powder. It's called the Select Sheer Pressed Powder. And it also comes in the same packaging as the Blot. So the only really difference, the way to tell is, um, you know, the labeling on the front. But this is more like your traditional setting powder. So this does have more pigment to it than the blotting powder. Um, it will offer a little coverage. I hesitate saying the word coverage because and my expectation of coverage, this does nothing, but um, it will kind of even out the skin tone a little bit. So if you are a real natural gal and you don't like to wear foundation, but you want to even the skin out a little bit, this might be great just over moisturizer. If you're going to the gym and you just want to have a little something, this might be great on its own. But traditionally, this is set, this is designed to be worn over a foundation to set your foundation in place. It has a very, very beautiful satin finish. So it's not going to be as mattifying as the blot powder is. Um, it is going to set everything and absorb shine, but it is still going to have a pretty like natural skin sheen finish. Um, so when I say natural, if you think about actual skin, actual skin doesn't 
typically look dewy and glowy on its own and it doesn't look powdered on its own either it has just kind of a flat little sheen to it and that's what this uh, this powder offers so um, I am the shade NC30 uh, if you're not familiar with max shade range they come in NC and NW NC stands for neutral cool which are going to be for people that have more yellow golden or olive undertones and um, in W is going to stand for neutral warm, which are, which are more for people who have more pink warm undertones. So the next powder that we're going to talk about is probably one of my favorite powders because of its versatility. It is the Mineralized Skin Finish, and it's in the natural, um, I was looking online and I believe they call this Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Line. So they have Mineralized Skin Finish that are highlighters, and then they have the natural line, which are flesh tone colors. Um, and I absolutely love this powder. Um, I used to wear this as a foundation alone and I would use a kabuki brush, like a flat, dense kabuki brush. I don't have one sitting in front of me to show you, but basically one that is dome shape and it has short, really dense packed fibers. And I would just swirl it around in this and put this all over my face when my moisturizer, moisturizer was still sitting on the top of my skin. And it just gave, it gave me excellent coverage and it didn't look heavy. Um, and now that I'm talking about this I'm gonna actually do this tomorrow it's been a long time since I've done my foundation that way but um, I used to do this all the time a few years ago so uh, it's also a great setting powder on top of foundation as well it's gonna offer you more coverage than um, any of the other powders I've talked about except the studio fix um, the real big difference I think between this and studio fix is studio fix is going to have a more mattifying finish like Studio Fix has a flat matte finish, okay? This has more of a natural skin finish, um, hence the name Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, but uh, this is just beautiful. It almost gives the skin a little bit of a glow. I mean, I guess if you think of mineral makeup, um, that's what this is, you know? So it's gonna give you that same beautiful, pretty finish. So I love this powder because of its versatility. Use it as a setting powder, use it as a foundation, I love it. Okay, so the next powder that I'm gonna talk about is the Prep and Prime uh, setting powder. So this, as you can see, looks bright white. I believe this comes in only one shade, the one that I have, which looks like, you know, white, white, white. And this is a setting powder. So this is completely translucent. This will, you know, minimize, take away any shine, any oil that you have. Um, it's extremely lightweight. Um, I actually will use this in the roots of my hair sometimes if they're really oily and I don't have any dry shampoo on hand because it just absorbs oil and disappears and that's its purpose. So this is a fantastic setting powder to have around. Um, it also minimizes the appearance of pores, I believe. I have to double check on the website, but I'm pretty sure that it does. When I bought this, I remember them selling me on that and I feel like it does that on me. It gives my skin just a very poreless, um, silky finish. So I love that. Who doesn't want that, right? Um, okay, so those are all the powders that I had. I was on the website just before filming this video and I saw that there are two other powders that MAC carries now and I have not tried them. I've actually been meaning to try the Carablend for a while. Um, but one is the Studio Sculpt and one is the Carablend. So if you have tried these powders, um, please leave a, a note in the comment section below on what you think about these powders because I am going to be ordering some of these and I just want to know which ones I should order. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for suggesting me to, for me to do this video. I think it's a great topic. Um, and yeah, I think that sums it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon.